to the new episode of statistical computing in this session i am going to discuss about step deviation method to find arithmetic mean step deviation method is one step ahead than the assume mean method if the deviated value of x from its assume mean capital a it means d is equals to x minus a have some common factors then it is better to divide the value of d by its highest common factor h the highest common factor denoted as h so here also we have a three category of formula let's see in case of simple series where x bar is equals to capital a plus sigma d dash divided by n if we compare this formula with assume mean method then only the d dash is the new term instead of d now we have d dash so d dash is equals to x minus a divided by h where h is equals to highest common factor similarly in case of ungrouped frequency distribution x bar is equals to a plus sigma fd dash divided by capital n into h where n is total number of observation and h is highest common factor in case of group frequency distribution we have to solve this in two steps the first step is to find the mean value x from the class interval and the second step follow the formula of ungrouped frequency distribution let's understand how to calculate arithmetic mean using step deviation method first we will understand the question in the question you can see that the marks and the number of students are given the marks given in class interval right so for applying the step deviation method this is the clear case of group frequency distribution right so we will select the formula of step deviation method for group frequency distribution so we have to first of all prepare the table for it right okay so before to prepare this table right you have to write the class and the frequencies which is already given in the question so the same class and the frequencies i have mentioned here right and then after you have to write the formula this is the formula for group frequency distribution to find arithmetic mean using step deviation method so the formula is x bar is equals to a plus sigma fd dash divided by capital n into h so we require a sigma fd dash capital n and h right let's see how to find the values of this term okay so first of all you have to find the x x is the mean value right so mean value you have to find from the class interval right so to find x you have to do l1 plus l2 divided by 2 so 0 plus 10 divided by 2 is 5 10 plus 20 30 divided by 2 is 50 similarly 
for the next class is 25 35 45 55 and 65 we will find the total of frequency as well so n is equals to 50 right okay now to find d value d for deviation d is equals to x minus capital a now a is what it's a assume mean so assume mean you have to uh, you have to assume the value from the x values so you can assume any value from the x but i will prefer the mid value right so 35 is the mid value the center most value from the x value so i'll be select a as 35 i'll mention here 35 okay so now you have to individually uh, select the x value minus a is 35 so 5 minus 35 is minus 30 15 minus 35 is minus 20 similarly minus 10 0 10 20 and 30 right okay now d dash d dash is equals to d divide by h right so the d divide by h h is what it's the highest common factor from the d value so if you observe the d values you can select a 10 as the highest common factor from the d because the 30 you can divide the each and every value of d by 10 so 30 divided by 10 is possible 20 10 right okay so i'll select h is equals to 10 right okay so now you can see that your d value is reduced by divide by 10 so the d dash is 30 divided by 10 is minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 and 3 now go for f d dash so d multiply by f so 6 into minus 3 is minus 18 5 into minus 2 is minus 10 minus 8 0 7 12 and 9 now you have to find sigma fd dash the total of the fd dash which is minus 8 right now we will put this value into the formula so a value is 35 plus sigma f d dash right so f d dash is minus 8 divide by n is 50 multiply by h which is highest common factor right okay so you can deduct this now 35 8 divided by 5 minus 8 divided by 5 is minus 1.6 is equals to Thirty-three point four. So the final answer is thirty-three point four, but we will make it for zero because we require a two digit after the decimal place, right? 
so our x bar is 33.40 but before to write the final answer right you have to check the question so the question you can find the marks is given right and 33 so that it is between 30 to 40 class right so this is 33.40 marks that's it two questions i have provided here to test yourself as per my video you are able to perform now arithmetic mean using step deviation method thank you we'll meet soon in the next online class